nicely, but here are some new blocks that we haven't talked about. So right here there's a title, and then some paragraph text, and then a couple of call to action buttons. So let's take a look at each of these. First, here is the title. You can see that it drops a nice title in here. It already provides some padding with the block above it. <clears throat> Again, the titles are easy to um, easy to change, um, just like you would in any text editor. This is a subtitle, uh, kind of like a blog post where you would put um, by whoever, and it was posted or it was written. You could go in here and say written on and then you can give the date just like you would a blog post or you can go over here to your block parameters we only have one parameter and that's to show or hide the subtitle so we can hide that and then we'll just have a uh, all caps looks nice on this by the way And then you can also change the font style to a different font or a different size. You wanted to change the size of the font, the headline. You could center align it. You can right align the headline. And then you can also make this text a link to go somewhere as well. Uh, so let's add a couple of paragraph blocks. And what I like to do if I'm going to do, uh, you could do just one paragraph here. Or if you want to make it longer, there are a couple things you can do. <clears throat> the first one would be to go in and just copy. Copy and paste a new paragraph in like that. You're obviously going to be writing your own text here, but if you wanted to just fill it out with some dummy text, you could do that. Or you can go through and just add a whole other block. I like to do this, just add a few different blocks. And so each of these is its own little block. You can, you know, shift them up and down. Uh, and so now you can see that we have a nice headline with text. This Roboto text is a little bit too much for me most of the time. So that's nice and uh, really sets apart the headline and the text. And then the last one is a nice little call to action here. So you can actually take that and the default for this particular block is two buttons. One is colored and one is open. Um, again, this is like any button block so you can add another button. Add as many as you want. And you can also take them away. So you can delete or remove the buttons. So maybe you just want one singular call to action at the end of the at the end of the article or at the end of this post, and you can have that, or you could take it away uh, completely. So let me show you some of the others. Maybe in your article you want uh, a text, I mean a, an image or a video. You could click on this, <clears throat> and it'll insert a nice video. It already has the padding around. I mean. Uh, an image first has a padding around it. Again, if you click on it, you get the option to um, change the image, or you could put a video into this section. You also have the option of changing this text. Uh, you can show the text or not. If you show the text, you can choose to put it over the image where it's an overlay over the bottom of the image, or you can put it under the image like this, which is kind of nice as a, a traditional caption and it also gives you the opportunity to put a slider again with padding but it's just a normal slider like we talked about in a previous episode there is this is the image gallery that we've already talked about as well it acts just like the regular image gallery so you can go through <clears throat> the different images and click to make changes and it'll show you your Explorer and if you want to delete some of these you just click on the one you want to delete click remove and then you could have four across like this there's still the same block parameters you could do full width if you wanted to where you would break up the article with something that was full width 
or this is just the one with the padding that's not full width and you could also create some spacing if you wanted to between them so there's a few different um, options there the next block is a video this is similar to this block here except it just starts out as a video block and you can choose again to insert an image or video and this will actually whenever you preview it live <clears throat> you'll be able to see um, and play the video again this has um, an option down at the bottom to show or to hide the text there's no overlay option on the video though and then here is a map so if for some reason you wanted to put a map into uh, your article or your post uh, this is a map that you can add in it's got a nice padding all around <laughs> all around the map uh, it's got the ability to choose the satellite or the uh, street view and then it's a fully interactive map so you can move it around um, you can zoom in <clears throat> with your uh, plus and minus over here okay so this is the article section so this is specifically for creating an article <clears throat> or a post type of uh, article so what we what can do so now we have an article and then we have all these image elements and things what you could do is you actually come down here <clears throat> and let's say you wanted to uh, put an image into the article you could actually drag <clears throat> you could actually drag that up into and some issues here drag it up into the article like that and then you can move it up the chain so now it's in the flow of the article as opposed to being uh, somewhere down below um, and you can do that with any of these elements uh, I could do a video if you had a longer article and then you could move this button uh, down <clears throat> Let's see if we can move it down there you go so you can move it down uh, to the bottom of the article or something like that so that is working with the article elements <clears throat> in Moby Rise and then next we're going to jump into these uh, pre-made information blocks <clears throat>